So yeah, as I was saying, um, um, we talked about <clears throat> we talked about pointers. We know what pointers are. We mentioned that pointers are nothing but regular variables. But the difference is that uh, uh, arithmetic, like regular arithmetic, doesn't work on them. Uh, pointers are unsigned integers, which means they, they, they can hold any a positive integer number on them. And their job is to keep the address of other uh, things in memory. That's their job. Now, in C++, uh, um, pointers, we, we talked about pointer arithmetic, and we said that when, when you add one to a pointer variable, the size of the target will be added to it. That, that's the rule that we put on it. So if you have a pointer to an integer, you add one to the integer to the pointer, the value will be added by four. And we demonstrated it like this. So if I have an integer pointer A over here and I put some, some variable in there, let's say, <laughs> if I put some variable over there, let's say 100, something like, oh, let's put 400 over here, something like that. So I'm putting the address 400 inside A. And let me lower the light because I know you're going to ask for it in a second. All right. <clears throat> so, so we mentioned that if I actually go see out uh, something like unsigned, I'm going to get 5 million uh, uh, on warnings, but ignore that. The, we just want to see what's going on in here, OK? Uh, if I don't do that, it's going to actually print it as a. So <clears throat> all right, so as you see, it, it prints 400. So duh, I have an integer. I put 400 in it. I printed it. It's 400. Magic. So nothing extraordinary happened over here. What's crazy over here is that if I actually do this, if I say C out on sign, A plus one, that's what, that's, that is what makes pointers uh, strange. Because you add one to a pointer and the size of target will be added to it. Which means if A holds 400 as an integer, you add one to it, it becomes 404. Why? Because a pointer, when you are saying plus one, you mean next integer. And next integer is four bytes away. Therefore, four has to be added to it. Are we good with this? Problem? No problem, right? We're good? OK. So now I'm going to do this. Instead of this one, I'm going to say integer A, say three. So just remember that it is exactly the same if I print this and, and run the program and run this and see what the, the outcome is. Of course, the address now, it's a real value, what I have in my computer. That's the address. But still, I added four to that one. It went four further. Are we OK with this? So there is no difference. They are, pointers are pointers. And we know, we talked about it before, that Essentially, when I say uh, an array, an array in C, in, in point of view of C language, is a location in memory in which the elements for the array requested will be allocated. And then a pointer is created pointing to them, which handles those things. So essentially, that A pointer of yours is uh, a constant integer pointer that is doomed to point to those t uh, 12 bytes in memory, and that's the only place it can look at. The difference between an array, array's name and a pointer is that a pointer can point anywhere. But an array is doomed to only point, not doomed, is forced to, to only point to the location to which it's looking, for, looking, to, looking at, right? Otherwise, if you could change the value of A, you would lose the three numbers over there, right? Are we OK with this? Problem? No problem, right? All right. <clears throat> so
This is where things become tricky. We know multidimensional arrays. You work with two-dimensional arrays, right? Anyone over here needs to be refreshed with two-dimensional arrays? We're good with two-dimensional arrays, right? right? So now if I say over here integer b, and I'm going to have, I have two packs of three, okay? I'm not going to initialize it. It doesn't matter what's in it. That's not what I'm interested in, okay? So please answer to this question. What is sitting beside the index over here? What is A? What is the type of A? It's an integer pointer. Are we okay with this, everyone? So anything that is sitting beside, so if I have something like this, and I told you what is E, E is an employee pointer pointing to five, integer, five employees. We're okay with that, right? We don't need to, okay. Now, if that's the case, what is sitting beside the three in here is B2, correct? So what is B2? Like, what is the type of that? On basis of looking at the syntax, if you look at int A3 and int B2, 3, what replaced A is B2. It means two Bs, right? And the type of that is integer pointer, correct? So B0 is an integer pointer and B1 is an integer pointer. Are we clear on that? So if I did something like this, essentially, if, essentially, if I did something like this, see out, I'm just going to copy the thing over here for you to see. <clears throat> Forget about those warnings. Oh. As you see, it's the exact same thing. This is B0, and this is B0 plus 1, four bytes further. Are we okay with that? The fact that it's four bytes further proves that that's an integer pointer. And I have two of them, B0 and B1. B0 points to the first pack of three integers. B1 points to the second pack of three integers. Are we clear on that? Now get ready for this. What if I did this? So what is the type of B when you think about it? If I add 1 to B, how many bytes it should jump further. Let's take a look at it. Somebody answered? Okay, 68 minus 15. What's that number? 12, right? Good math. <laughs> 12, correct? How many integers fit in 12 bytes? Three, correct? Look at that. So B becomes a pointer to pack of three integers. And that's how they implement it. It becomes, that's how it can jump from, what you know, like we know for a fact that if I have, let me just put some values in here. Two, two, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, and six hundred. We know for a fact that, so keep those in mind. Let's separate it with what I'm going to write over here. So that's the different thing we're talking about. Now take a look at this. 
you, we know for a fact that when I say A0, come on. When I say A1, what it actually means is, is that from the location, from the, from the target of A, go one integer further. And that's actually how the index operator is created. Are we okay with that? All right. Some people's face I can't read. <laughs> that was a question face, but <laughs> okay. So now in here I'm saying from the target of, from A, go one integer further and tell me. And that's why index, all the indexes of uh, arrays start from zero. To access the first one, you have to say from the address of beginning of the array, go zero integers further, right? That means the first one. And that's why we have zero for the thing. So we know that for a fact. So if I want to do the same thing with integer b, replacing what I have over there as that one, what I, instead of saying c out, say b zero, one, which is 200, I can say C out target of B zero plus one. Are we okay with this? Are we okay with this? Are we okay with this? <laughs> All right, so if I run the program, you'll see how it's going to work out. And as you see, it's printing 200, correct? Well, okay. Um, should I sit? You want me to bring this down and sit? Can you, can you see? Can you see? Can you? All right. Now, take a look at this one. Wasn't an array translated to this one? It was, right? Isn't this an array of pointers to integer? It is, right? So this essentially means correct? I could do that. And it still means the same. Right? It's still 200. So that shows how multidimensional arrays are, are created. So how I know how to create. So, so let me actually, it, it's, um, let me just do something. And also let me make this one. One and two, so it becomes 600, I know, but I want it to be some number over there. One and two, and this one is going to be one and two. Just to show you exactly what it means. <clears throat> Are we okay with this? Okay. So if I want a pointer to point to array A, I can say integer pointer P, right? And that thing is going to point to A. And therefore, if I say C out P2, what's going to get printed over there? What's going to get printed over there? Why nobody says anything? What's going to get printed at line 20? 30, right? P becomes the address. Maybe it's like too simple for you. You don't want to be volunteer to, to answer the question. But what can I put over here to make this one equal to B? How can I create a pointer to a two-dimensional array? Huh? So... Huh? No, 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 no. That's a that, double asterisk doesn't tell you 
what is the let's 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 try so from what you are saying if i go let's say q over here right and i set this one to if i do something like this correct i'm just putting it this it's an it's a pointer right that's not it's a, it's a pointer to a pointer of integers right now if i do over here c out if i say c out um unsigned uh, q plus 1 from what you are saying q q q q where's q there you go q plus 1 is it going to print 12 bytes further how does it know that a over here like is like when you do like this how does q know what is the width of the array Double pointer is a pointer to integer pointers. It's good for ragged arrays that I'm going to tell you what they are, like uneven array if you want to create. You want to create a dynamic uneven, uneven array, that's your friend. You can do that. When I say uneven array, I mean, I'm going to draw it. Um, oh, this. Oh, there you go. This is an uneven array of character strings. You see that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. One length is this much, the other one is bigger, the other one is smaller. So it's not a table, it's, it's different size, okay? F to create something like that, a pointer to a pointer is good. You can create an array of pointer to integers, and in each one you can have a different size of array. So it becomes a two-dimensional array where the dimension of each array is different. We could do that. But that's not a pointer to a tabular two-dimensional array, a, a table that has a width of three integers. For that, if I recall correctly, so this, I'm just going to print it for you to see what I mean. So when we print the last one, you'll see what the outcome is. It is still, it's eight bytes because the size of the pointer over here is eight. And yeah, 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 okay. Pointer to integer, you know, 8 bytes, 64 bit compute, 6 bit, you see, it's 64 bit. That means the size of the pointer is 8 bytes, okay? So that's what it added, the size of an integer pointer, okay? To create something like that, we have a funny syntax. If I recall the syntax properly, so I would like to have an int, so um, Q, R, I'm gonna call it, integer, I want to create a pointer R that has a width of three integers. But if I do that, it creates three pointers, right? I don't want that. I want one pointer with size of three integers. So that's why I'm going to bring the asterisk right beside R, and I'm going to put parentheses around it. OK? Why does it give me an error? Yeah, okay, <laughs> interesting, okay. So now if I make equal to B, okay, as you see, I get no errors because it says R is a pointer whose job is to point to an array of, do, a, a two-dimensional array with width of three integers. Are we okay? It's just syntax theory. Okay, <laughs> it's just a, so when you put parentheses around the pointer and you put an asterisk, you are telling I'm creating a pointer with this size of this type. So R is a pointer to a two dimensional array because obviously one dimension is the reason we put the parentheses. A two dimensional array with length of unknown, I don't know. So this R can point to B and also can point to C. It does not make any difference. That's perfectly good too. 
B or C, it doesn't make any difference. As long as the width is the same, the pointer can point to it because when you add one to it, it jumps to the next one, jumps to the next one, jumps to the next one, therefore becomes a pointer to a two-dimensional. Are we okay with this? And that is why when you are like this, so this is essentially what you do when you want to pass a two-dimensional array to a function. How do you pass a two-dimensional array to a fun function? If I, say, if I say over here void prn pack of three ints, okay? So I want to have a function that prints packs of three integers. How do I do that? How do I pass the point? I think I'm going to say int array. You leave the first one empty, and then you put three for the second one. It means you are, re this, ladies and gentlemen, only you can do in the arguments. This is the equivalent of what I put over here in the arguments, but in my program. You can put that one in the arguments too. Same thing, no difference. Okay? So, that's that. So, instead of leaving this empty, I am putting R in parentheses over here. And now I can over here print pack of three. So this pack of three, and in here, if I, I'm not going to say size, I'm going to say length, because I don't know, I, I mean, what is the length of the pack of three? Okay, so it means it's going to go what, how, no matter how, how long, we can actually do it that way. So it's going to be something like four integer i set to zero and i less than length. i plus plus. Then I'm going to have four integer j set to zero and j less than three. And j plus plus. Then if j and c out array i j. Oh, not just like that. And then we go to new line over here. Okay, so that is printing the three dimension, but it doesn't matter how big. Bec that that the reason is that we don't know how many how many packs is what is important. Are we good with the two dimensional arrays? <clears throat> so that so what I'm saying is that when I have the integer b over here. It's not actually a table. If I'm crazy enough, I can actually, let me, uh, it's, the program is becoming too big. So let me, um, let me just take this away over here. And pointer to an array of, uh, to a uh, 2D array of, ints with width of three, right? Save, width of three, the length doesn't matter. So let's put this one as, uh, uh, what do I say, pointers? So, when we are talking about th the way you see we jump through the things, so, um, I shouldn't have deleted all the things. Why? I need this one. Uh, I need those values. I can say over here integer p is equal to a, and in, and in here let's have uh, the same thing instead of pack of three ints, I'm just going to print ints. So this one is going to be print ints. I'm so lazy to, to type, so that's what I'm going to do. And And that's I. So that's linear, and the other one is like that, okay? 
Okay? Uh, so, now let's make this one an integer pointer because we know it. And we can make it a constant integer pointer. It doesn't matter, but, but the, let it be for now. So now, if I do this, I can say uh, PRN ints, and I can print P, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to print the, you know, with size of 3, and definitely that's going to print 10, 20, 30. We know that, right? There's no problem with that. And that's 10, 20, 30, no, no question. What I want to tell you is this. If I say PRN, so I can say P is set to cast of integer pointer of B. So I am casting the B address to be a one-dimensional array, not two. I am looking at the beginning of the data of B with a, a single-dimensional array point of view. And if I do that, you will see that for that, it doesn't matter. When you say two-dimensional, in memory, there is no two-dimensional thing. In memory, everything is linear. There's no table in memory. That's why when you add 1 to B, 0 to B, 12 is added to it because it wants to jump to the next row. There is no rex row. The next row is just 12 bytes further. So just keep that in mind. When you have a two-dimensional array, there is no two-dimensional array. They are all linear. Just they organize the pointers in a way so it can hop through the rows and go through the beginning of the next one. And that's what it is. So keep that in mind. And uh, is always linear. Memory is always, there is no tables in memory. OK? Remember that. Having said that, what I just mentioned applies to multi-dimensional arrays. So if I have, so everything that I mentioned applies to that. So if I have if I have a, 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 a four-dimensional array like this, so just for your heads to go around this, this is a line, this is a square, this is a cube, these are few cubes beside each other. This is a line of cubes. And then a square of cubes, and then a cubes of cubes. OK? So keep on, keep on it that way. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. That's reality. Anyway, so, so if I want to create a pointer to, point, to keep that one, it's the exact same thing. But the difference is that now I have to say it's 3, 4, and 5 will be hold, holding the address of B. You just drop the first one. And when you want to pass that to a function, obviously you put those values in there and you pass it. Are we OK, hopefully? That's what arrays are, and nothing but that. So um, when. So I have this thing. You want me to create, put values in there? Yeah, so if you're passing this new... Really? <laughs> you know how many integers I have to write to? <laughs> you want me to make it three-dimensional instead so I can do something? Because <laughs> you know how many numbers I have to type here? So if we are passing this four-dimensional array into print function... It's two multiplied by three multiplied by four multiplied by five integers that I'm not writing. <laughs> Pardon me? So we have to pass 60 as a parameter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a length for the. Perf for, yeah. And you have to cast that, then it's going to print everything. Which you don't want to. You can always pass this one and write a nested loop four times and have a nice. Yeah. Uh, 
little thingy. Anyway, so that's that. So um, when you are looking at the, 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 uh, uh, the lectures for today, we're going to go, I'm just going to see if there is anything in here that I missed. This is this we have done this we have done this before. So essentially, uh, a becomes a pointer of integer pointers. So you create an array of integer. You want me to do this for you to see what it is? Pointer to po we did pointer to pointers, right? Are we okay with pointers to pointers? Anybody have questions about pointer to pointers? Because we did that when I talked about pointers long time ago. Okay. I don't want to talk about it again unless you ask me to. You want me to talk about pointer to pointer? Give you an example of it again. Anyone? No? All right. So rag the raise is the one that I was talking about. So, yeah. So we actually, I actually gave you an example on this in files. So files, memory, potatoes, potatoes. It's the same thing. Remember we created an index file and a data file, and I showed you each each one is pointing to a place in the file, so ta-da. It's that one, but in memory. No difference. Uh, all you need to do is to just create an array of pointers, and in each pointer you hold the address of the destination. And because these are all null terminated, you don't have to worry about. Okay, ignore this one. I'm sorry, I don't understand what it says. I, don't, I, I doubt you're going to understand it either. I have no idea. So the one that says pointer to one dimensional array and puts the, uh, an array with n called, I don't understand this. This is what we talked about, pointer to a two dimensional array. And that's what I talked about now. The first one, I have to talk to the author and say, what is that? I, I really don't understand. What is the purpose of that and what does it do? I really do not understand. So because I don't understand it, I can't teach it. So the one dimensional thingy that we have over here is one dimensional pointer to one dimensional array. And then this is a two dimensional array right in front of me. I don't understand it. So just let it be. Um, uh, we're not going to have any questions on that. And two dimensional array, we went through it. And that, that, that's that. Any other question? Any, any question, not other question, any question? Yes. Which workshop? Okay. Okay, sure, sure, I'll take a look at it. Anyone? Anything else? Workshop nine? Okay. Four, uh, okay, so let me just pause the recording. Uh.